In this video, we will learn how you can automatically create a thread in Twist when new event is created in Google Calendar. So let's say you want every time a new event is created in Google Calendar, a thread should be created in Twist. So we are going to automate this entire process using Pabbly Connect. Let's take a look how we do this. To automatically create a new thread in Twist when an event is created in Google Calendar, let us first go to Pabbly's website. You can see the landing page of Pabbly. On the top right, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Well, if you sign up free, you will get free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. Pabbly Connect. On top right, you will see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name we will simply write Google Calendar to twist. Now it will show you two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. So our entire workflow would be based on these two steps, trigger and action. Let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when an order is placed, the action can be send a confirmation message to the user. In our case, a trigger can be when, an, when a new event is created in Google Calendar, the action can be create a new thread in Twist. So let us begin and select Google Calendar as our trigger application. Trigger event would be new event. Let us connect, add new connection and connect with Google Calendar. So I'm going to select my account here. And since I was already logged into my Gmail account, I will not have to give my credentials. I will just continue. So it's authorization successful. Now you will see it will show the various calendars that I have in my Google Calendar. So I want to work on test and trials. So now I'll take you to my Google Calendar here. And you will see these are various calendars on the left hand side. I'll be working on test and trials here. If you see, I have created, I'm creating an event here, annual reports that would be scheduled. That is for September 28 between 10, 15 PM to 11, 15 PM. And here is the description I have given discuss quarterly results. So now I'm going to just save it. I've created an event here. You can see this. Now coming back to Pabli, after selecting the required calendar, I'll just click on save and send test request and you will see it will capture the most recent, uh, recent event from here which was this annual reports. So if you scroll down you will find the title in here in the summary annual reports. This is the description then the creator's email start date and time is here end date and time is, is here and the time zone is as per Asia Kolkata as per our time zone. Okay, so this means we have successfully integrated Google Calendar with Pabli. Now on to our action step. So what what we want is we want every time an event is created here in the Google Calendar, the thread in twist should be created one day before that. All right. So for that, we will select here date and time formatter action event would be add or subtract time let us connect now we need to enter the date here the date has to be in this format please make sure your date follows this format that is year month date time and then the uh, an hour minute second all right so we are going to take the start date time which is exactly in this format like you can see 28th September 2022 and then the time is here. Now expression for here let us read the help text. So here you would we would have to write the time in this format. If you want plus 8 hours you will write plus 8 space and hours. So we want minus 1 day okay. Because we want that a thread should be created one day before the 
meeting is scheduled for in Google Calendar. All right. So we are going to write minus one and give a space and day. So now comes the format. So let us first see the two format. We want our date time in this format. I'll scroll down and you will see simple format year, month, date, hour, minutes, seconds. Currently it is in year, month, date. Then there is T and then hour, minutes, seconds. So we want in this simple format year, month, date, hour, minutes, seconds. So now comes the uh, from format like you can see here again for quick results. We search using here and it will show you all the formats like this. So currently our format is this year, month, date, then the T and R minute seconds like I told you here. So from this format, from this format, we want in simple this format. All right. We just want year, month, date and time here. Now I will click save and send test request. And you will see it has given the date before the one date before the meeting. So I'll take you to step one here where we got our start date here. You will see the start date here is 28th September. That's the same date we mapped in. And when, when we reduced it, subtracted it by one day, it gave us the result 27th September 2022. So we got this date. This is the date we'll be using. And now on to our action step. We will select delay. So we want to delay this until we will instead of for we will select here until. So here we want a delay till one day before here like you can see till 27th September 2022. So we are going to take this. And now before I click on save and send test request just one more thing I want to tell you here in the above step when we use daytime for matter here you must have seen we in the two format we took this this format year month date hour minute seconds so this was the exactly same format that is required by delay always and therefore we did two steps in just one action what we did here first was we first got we reduced one day we subtracted one day from the date and second we converted the date time into this format that is that that could be used in the next step in delay okay now let us click on save and send test request and you will see we the status is success and we got delayed until this date that is 27th September 2022 and just one more thing here you will see in delay you will get date time always here in UTC format. So now on to our final step here. Here we will select twist. The action event here would be create thread. So let us connect, add new connection and connect with twist. Authorization successful. Since I was already logged into my twist account, I did not have to give my credentials. All right. So now it will need Team. So I'll be working in one team. You can see Pabli Connect. Now I'll show you. These are my channels here. I want a thread should be created in this channel general. I'll take you to my twist account here and you will see I have few channels here general Pabli Connect. I want every time here a new event is created in Google Calendar here in twist. The event should be created in general channel here. Like you can see, I already have few threads here like workflow training as you meet and these. Okay, so now coming back here, we need few details like title. So we are going to map it from Google Calendar. You can see the summary here. We can use this as title. But before we map in, you must be thinking where exactly are we getting these calendar events from, these calendar data from. So for that, I will take you to step one. Let me minimize this. And here is the step one where we integrated Google Calendar with Pabli, did a test submission. There was an event created in Google Calendar and Pabli captured the recent response. 
with the name this annual reports was the event name this was description start date time end date time everything so pabli brought exactly these details here in this step in this twist step so that we can easily map in now let us map this would be the title let's see if we if there is any content here so you will see description discuss quarterly results let's map it and now what will happen is i'll take you through the workflow once again whenever a new event is created here in google calendar pabli captures the response the date time for matter will help you to get one day before the event date like you can see with minus 1 you will get the date one date before the event and with the delay option the workflow will be delayed till one day before the event that is till 27th september in this date in this case and the moment it strikes 27th september this date in twist a thread will be created okay so now let us just quickly save and send test request and you will see the response has been received you can see the content here if you'll scroll down you'll see the creator name and other details so over here the title is here the workspace id it has generated now let me take you to my twist account and let's see if this any such event any such thread with this title annual reports has been created there so you can see this is my twist and in the general we are in the general channel and right on the top you'll be able to see this is my thread title annual reports then there is this description discuss quarterly results i hope this video was helpful for you for more such videos you can subscribe to our channel on youtube for further queries you can visit forum.pabli.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabli.com